How to blend different exposures in Photoshop. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I am a French photographer from the amazing, the crazy city of Paris, France. And in this new show on Photoshop and Lightroom, episode number two, I'm going to show you how to blend different exposures that were taken with different settings to make one photo. So we're going to go back to the time I was in Iceland with this photo and that photo. So here was my idea. Actually, my guide told me to do this, which I thought was a brilliant idea, is if you wanna have a perfect photo of the Aurora, you are basically going to have to do like a long exposure, right? And I'm gonna give you these raw files. You can download them under the videos. You can, you can follow along. I challenge you to do the same result and you can even post them on social media and become famous. Just make sure you tag me as a photographer and you are the retoucher. My name on, on Instagram is at photosurge. Okay, so here we have a lone exposure, okay? The, why did I do a lone exposure? It's called a slate. Basically what it means is that I wanted to have a very clean mountain. Look how clean that mountain is. It's really clean. I mean, the aurora is completely blurred out, which is not nice. The stars are blurred out. This was what? Check this out. 151 second exposure. Absolutely crazy. It's crazy at F4, ISO 400. Wow, ISO 400, F4. What, that's what, that's like two and a half minutes. And check out this photo here. Now this photo, you can see the aurora really well. Uh, it's at 2500 ISO, which is kind of bad. And it's at F4, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use also a new feature in Lightroom to clean the noise, and then we're gonna blend the exposure in Photoshop. It's gonna be crazy. The end result is to have a photo that is such a good quality that you can put it and sell it to National Geographic's I, I work with 120 galleries around the world and you know, I wanna sell that to my galleries. So again, you can download the raw file and see for yourself. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm first gonna work on the um, lone exposure. So I'm just gonna open the shadows a little bit, not too much because it's, I'm gonna bring down the highlights. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crush my blacks and then I'm gonna boost my whites. And I like the Aurora, but it's too blurry, you know? Oh, I mean, I could stop there and, oh, I have a great photo, but I wanna do better. You can do better. So, okay, I like what I did there, so I'm gonna select the next photo and I'm just gonna, maybe let's change the white balance first. Let's maybe make the white balance a little more blue and a little more magenta, just so that we have, see magenta is adding a bit of magenta there. And then I'm gonna take this photo and then I'm gonna say previews. Previews is gonna copy what I just did on this photo. So we have at least the same white balance. And, but you know, and now I'm gonna look at this photo. You see, if I, check this out, if I open a shadow on this one and boost the exposure, the mountain is completely unusable, like totally unusable, okay? Because it's just so much noise. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a new feature in Lightroom. So you right click and you go to enhance. What Enhance is gonna do is that there is this feature called Denoise and it takes the noise out of the roll level. The reason I wanna do that is I'm only gonna use this photo for the sky, yes, but I still wanna have the cleanest possible sky. So uh, don't use too much, maybe 40 is enough. You don't wanna take out too much stars. So that's gonna create a new roll file called Enhance Roll File and it's gonna get rid of a lot of the noise, which is absolutely great. Uh, but it's not going to be good enough to be used. Like I can't sell this to a gallery because the mountain, even if we take out the noise, will still be very muddy. I'll show that to you in a second. Okay, so check this out. So now I selected both photo, the enhanced photo and the not enhanced photo. And I'm going to press C on my keyboard so that I can compare. It's a compare button and shift tab to go in full screen mode. So on the left side, you can see it's the enhanced photo. And check this out. And I'm going to zoom in. Look at this, the mountain is much more clean. Uh, it's really more clean. Look at, look at the difference, it's great, right? And again, I could stop here, but check this out. If I now take the mountain and, and I, I take the lone exposure versus the enhanced exposure, and now if I select the enhanced exposure and the lone exposure and press C and Shift Tab, you can see that I still have a better, look at this. I still have a better result with the lone exposure. Look how muddy the river here. It's much cleaner there. It's not much cleaner. I mean, honestly, this on hands feature is crazy. But if I were to sell this to a gallery, look at this, the bush is much cleaner here. It's very muddy. We still lose a lot of detail from the, uh, from the denoising, but the sky is clean. Look at this, the stars are perfect. It's really cool. And we don't have this lone exposure effect 
uh, on, on this. So what I'm going to do now is to get the best of both worlds, I'm going to take this one, which is the clean mountain, the best mountain, with the enhanced version. Now, before we go to Photoshop, uh, just look at the sky. Look at the sky, how it's better. You can see zero way better than this guy. So now I'm going to select both photos, the enhanced version and the other one, and we're going to blend them in Photoshop. So right click, edit, and use a special feature here in Lightroom called Open as Layers in Photoshop. Open as Layers in Photoshop is going to open both of these files into the same Photoshop file. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. And we have now, you can see, we have the Northern Light blending here and we have the enhanced version here, okay? So basically what I want to do is I want to select the sky here. It's First, I want to align these two layers. And by the way, if your Photoshop doesn't look like this, what you can do is you can go to Windows, Workspace, you can go to Photography and you see my layers disappeared, which is weird. I can bring it back by just going to Windows and put my layers back. But And my layers are here. But if you want the same view, you just can also go to Windows, uh, Workspace, Essential. And that should put Property Panel and Layers there. If not, you can. You don't really need a Property Panel. We can take this one out. We just need the Layer Panel. Okay, so first I want to align these two layers. I'm going to click and select both of them. And I'm going to go to Edit. And I'm going to go to Auto Align Layers. You want to make sure they're perfectly aligned because we're going to blend these layers. I, Okay, you can see here, there's a bit of white, meaning that my camera moved a little bit. I mean, come on, this was a three minutes exposure almost with a, you know, with what, a five second exposure. So, and there was a bit of wind, Ah, you know what I mean? Okay, so on this one, I just want to keep the mountains, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to select sky. And uh, I basically, that's going to select the sky here and check this out. If I create a, a layer mask, Boom, it did exactly the opposite of what I wanted. It shows the sky and hides the mountain. I want the opposite. So you can select the layer and press Command I to invert. And now it's exactly what I wanted. You see, remember, black conceals, white reveals. Black conceals, white reveals. Black conceals, white reveals. It's amazing. What that means is that you see this layer is my sky layer, okay? This layer, no, sorry, is my mountain layer. It's clean mountain, okay? It's the lone exposure. Let's call it clean mountain. Okay, and this one is my clean sky. Okay, because it's the by basically having a black layer here, it's hiding the sky because that sky was not good. You see, and you, if you press the shift key, you can temporarily take out the layer. So, check this out without the layer, we can see the old sky that's very low in exposure, and with the layer, now we see the, the new sky which is below, which is absolutely perfect. And look at that, it's absolutely perfect. We blended both exposure. The bottom is very clean. The top is super clean because we use the on hands feature. It's just perfect. It's almost ready to be sold to gallery. Let's bring it back into Lightroom by going to file, close and say save. And what that's going to do, you can see it's going to save the file and automatically bring it back into Lightroom. Guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel because the next video is going to be about how to retouch portrait in one click. You don't want to miss that episode. And the only way you're going to know about it is by subscribing so you can get notified. Make sure you click the little bell and that way you get that next episode. Also, this is a new show that I'm doing. Please share it with your friends. It's really going to take the knowledge of Photoshop and Lightroom and photography to the next level. Okay, so I'm back here in Lightroom. And by the way, I forgot to mention, but I also have a book called Photoshop, the easy way you can get the book for free, shipped to your home if you just pay shipping and handling. It's about $10. The link is under the video. And, and you get two weeks free of coaching with me. Two weeks free. Check it out. The link is under. Okay, so here I am. And I'm going to take the crop tool. I want to make this one, I think. Uh, no, I don't. I just want to take out this. This white line came from the misalignment. Yeah, something like that. And maybe just let's... Let's add a bit of contrast to this photo. Let's put the white, the white a little bit and maybe add a bit of magenta. And voila, here's the final result. I can zoom into the photo. It does have a bit of noise on, 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 the, on, the, on the stars, but I'll tell you what, this kind of noise prints really well. I'm going to make a big print of this photo. And uh, actually, let me make, make it straight. It's a little crooked. And voila, don't forget to subscribe to this new channel and I'll see you on the next episode on how to retouch the skin in one click.